welcome back to Kitchen Koza, where we share some of South Africa's most loved recipes with you. Fruit chutney is a firm favorite. Now I love a homemade version, so I'm gonna share my family's sweet and spicy recipe with you. It's also so easy to make. Let's hoi. First, our chopped onions, straight into our pot. Just get them all in there. Our peeled and cubed apples. And then moving on to our peaches and apricot. I have soaked this overnight, and you're going to want to add water just to cover that, and then keep this liquid, it's gonna go in as well. And then time to add our raisins. In fact, the whole bag. And then onto things like our garlic. In goes our ginger. One of my favorite smells in the whole world. Some chili. I did say it was gonna be slightly spicy. Cloves and cinnamon, love those aromatics. And then for our salt, just gonna measure this out. And our pepper. Some kind pepper for additional heat. And then that sweet, which is our sugar. It's looking beautiful in this pot, can't wait. Last, but certainly not least, our vinegar. That's it for our ingredients. So easy, pop this onto boil. Once that's bubbling away, turn down your heat. We're gonna allow this to simmer for two hours until it's thick, juicy, sweet, spicy, delicious chutney. And you just wanna give this a stir to make sure it's well combined. Our two hours is up. This is looking and smelling delicious. So I'm pretty much ready to bottle. Yep, it's good. Straight into our sterilized jars. to set these aside to cool before you close the lids. And see how simple that was? Your own homemade version of a South African favorite. Now this is great to serve with curry, but my favorite, a Malay Burti. Don't forget to click here to subscribe for more of your favorite South African recipes right here on Kitchen Koza.